Hey YouTube, what's going on? Bill here from Plus Guys Gaming, back at it again with another Dueling Book Rated Commentary matchup for you today. In today's video, we have Ray VP 1011 going up against Professor Eevee. Alright, we got some high ratings here 741 over 2215 going up against 676 over 1317 on top. All right, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. Ray VP is going to win the rock, paper, scissors and choose to go first. 40 cards, 43 cards. Let's see the opening hands. Sacred Summit, Chalice, Desires, Long Yon, and a second copy of Desires. Up here we have Bird Sanctuary, Ghost Ogre. Little Chris Warbler, Canary, and another Ghost Ogre. Double Ghost Ogre. Start off with a Pot of Desire. It's going to banish the top 10 cards and draw into Triple Tactics Talent and Protos. Let's see what he banished. He lost a Ashuna, Chalice, Imperm, Long Non. Adhara, Ecclesia, another Long Clone, Long Yon, another Ecclesia, a Dragon Cycle, and a Pod Desires. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. It's going to use Long Yon, discard Summit, special Summit itself, and a token. He's going to go Synchro into 10. Baron is going to use the effect. Burn Professor Eri for 1200. It's going to set the chalice, set double chalice and pass. Another canary is drawn up here. See some bird action. He's going to spur summon himself with uh, that's Warbler that's going to spur summon himself. He's going to chalice it. I'm going to normal summon the canary and Overlay into Rectal Starling. Recital Starling. It's detach. It's going to chain Baron this and then goes over his chain to that. Then he's going to activate Canary from hand. I'm going to pause it real quick just to see something. Okay, okay. Cool. Yep. So Canary's chained, I mean Canary's activated in the hand. It's gonna spur summon itself out and spur summon another copy of itself from the graveyard. It's gonna overlay into Nightingale attack directly two times. 400 each, oh, 800 each. Okay, 800 each because it gains 400 for having two of these attached to it. I'm gonna go into Zeus and pass turn. It's draw phase, we're gonna chalice to Zeus. It goes through, activate emergence. Add the Mogi. Normal summon Moji, activate the Fed. This guy just loves saying cost like he's not doing it immediately when he is, but whatever. It's gonna get gold so good. So we got a token, we're gonna we're gonna draw two. Yep. Draws into cycle and another TTT. I'm gonna activate cycle. Send Ashuna, add Adhara, Adhara effects, pressure summons itself from the hand since he controls no effect monsters. Then he's going to use Ashuna, banish itself from the graveyard, special summon, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, banish a card from the graveyard, special summon a Tengi from the deck. There's Ashuna. Says Dink. He's going to think about his next play. He's going to choose a single summon into 
Sword Soul Grandmaster. Activate the effect. I'm just going to add a Sword Soul card from the deck to hand. So he chooses to add Blackout. Banish the Vishuda. Get rid of the Zeus. And... All right. That's game. Game one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice little back and forth action there. I'm going to go into game two now. With Professor Eevee going first with the hand of Bird Call, Instant Fusion, Wagtail, Token Collector, and Sapphire Swallow. Down here we have TTT, Chalice, Taya, Longyon, and Protos. It's going to activate the Instant Fusion, pay a thousand to summon. Independent 19 gal from the uh, extra deck. It's going to activate the effect burn ray for 500. And it's going to activate swallow, spur summon itself, and wagtail. Activate wagtail, search for bird call. It's going to overlay into um, starling, attach. Add Warbler. After we bird call, adds Cobalt Sparrow. It's going to summon out Warbler and Sparrow. After we the effect of Sparrow, add to the hand Canary. It's going to overlay with the fusion for another Starling. After we the effect, attach, add to the hand another Warbler. He's going to overlay with those two for Utopic and Utopic Future, or Utopic Draco Future. Using Canary, he's going to express summon itself, and uh, Swallow. Overlay all three for this guy, Robin. He's going to detach one, express summon a uh, diffusion, or not express summon. He's uh, attaching them to himself. Gains 500 each material attached to it. That's one, two, three, four, five. So it's 35 plus 200. Wait, yeah, okay. I'm trying to see what what exactly is attached to it. 35 plus 200. I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he draws into another long yarn. Activate long yarn, discard it, another copy, and express someone self with another token. I mean, with a token, and then there's token collector to collect on this special summon token. It's going to chalice. A token collector. It's going to TTT and take. Uh, Professor Evie says it's okay to take. Synchronous and Baroness. Long Yon Burn for 12. Baroness pop. Taya comes out. And that's it. Oh, it was a 2-0. Wow. 2-0. Nice. I, I thought we would have gone into game three. Okay. So, I don't know, man. I got a question. Why is this deck considered to be good? I really, I, I really don't understand why it's good. Is is it supposed to be tier one? All I do is watch you lose. I don't know, man. If the deck's good, tell me why in the comment section below. Because all I'm seeing is it getting this butt kicked day in, day out. Like this, this is a free matchup. 
it's a free matchup. I, I don't I don't know, man. Anyway, that's the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to ding the notification bell. Help us out with a YouTube algorithm. Our TCG player link is down in the description below, as well as the email link so you can send in your dueling book replays for the chance to have them featured on the channel. Also in the description, we have our Discord link if you would like to join the Discord community of Team Plus Guys. I'm Bill from Team Plus Guys. I'll see you in a future video because I'm turning the lights out.